Hello guys, uh, welcome to ASM Education. Hope you all are having a great day. Uh, this is the uh, sixth chapter of our uh, series, the McKinsey way. Uh, the name of the chapter is managing hierarchy. So we will just see about what the hierarchy, hierarchical structure at McKinsey is. Uh, so the author says that the McKinsey has somewhat a, some some kind of a split personality when it comes to hierarchy. Uh, on one hand, the firm claims that there is no real uh, hierarchy, but on the uh, other hand, any person who has worked in McKinsey that can tell you that there are two types of hierarchies that exist within my uh, McKinsey. Both statements are correct in their way. Uh, the author says that he cannot imagine any flatter organization that uh, than McKinsey. What does flatter mean? Flatter means that everybody is treated equally. He says that an associate can walk into the ED's office. Uh, without an appointment and talk to him and uh, uh, talk to him about the study in the meeting every business idea every point from even from the youngest analyst or even the oldest directors carries the same weight and is debated and attacked accordingly also at the same time there is a definite chain of command the directors and uh, partners make decisions about the direction of the firm ems associates and analysts support the uh, support them if uh, the analyst disagrees with the em the em's opinion would win if the ed and uh, and similarly, the ED's opinion trumped over the EM's uh, opinion. Uh, also, there is another unofficial hierarchy that is based on experience and credentials. That is how good you are or you are perceived to be. At each level, certain people are known to be stars. Stars are the very good employees. These stellar associates can pick and choose their assignments. Very hot EMs will have associates clamoring to work from them. Everybody wants to work from them. And everyone sort out the best EDs and DCS as mentors and career makers. Likewise, the uh, associates generally knew which EMs to avoid and which EDs had missed the firm's fast track. So if you are not, if an EM is not doing well, associates would not like to work with him. Uh, uh, make your boss look good. Uh, so this is one of the principles that the author says that you should follow. He says that if you make your boss look good, your boss will make you look good. That's the quid pro quo of hierarchy. Quid pro quo matlab, in Hindi it means dena or lena. Uh, uh, so in any hierarchical organization, the most important person in your day-to-day -day world is your boss. Say for example, uh, you're, you're working away from the main office in a distant city or in a foreign country. There, the importance of your boss increases drastically. He is the only person in your organization who can see you. He he knows what you're doing. You'd better make him happy. Making your boss may, uh, look good means two things. Firstly, do your job to the best of your ability. Secondly, your boss should know everything that you're uh, everything that you're doing and everything that he needs to know when when he needs to know it uh, you should keep the information flowing make make sure that he knows where you are what you're doing what problems you're having uh, what are the deliverables by when will you give them and but at the same time don't overload her with in, uh, information because he or her will have a lot of other things in his uh, in his activities that he has to complete uh, so an aggressive strategy for managing hierarchies this is something that the author suggests he says that if you have the stomach for it and he says only on and only if you have the stomach for it assert your equality in the organization keep on doing it until someone tells you otherwise uh, so and he says that in a meritocratic organization this will work assert your equality unless someone else tells you that you are not an equal uh, in a more rigid organization be more sensitive of where the limits to authorities lie and be ready to back down quickly otherwise someone will stomp on you so this was a very very short and sweet chapter uh, of managing hierarchy we will come up with a lot of other chapters and complete this uh, and complete th complete this uh, entire book uh, very soon uh, hope this uh, video added a, a lot of value to your day uh, take care uh, keep learning uh, like and uh, like share and subscribe